Wait, hold on, this is my first game back. Who do I have in the playoffs? Let's just say uh, basketball is a joke and I don't watch it. I think basketball is easily the worst sport right now in all of the world. It's a joke, dude. Durant literally ruined the league. Me as a casual basketball viewer, I'm not even going to watch this year. I'm not going to watch anything. No point. Maybe I'll watch the semis and finals, but I'm not watching anything else. Gotcha, bitch. I'm a casual basketball fan, and I'm just saying what I'm saying is I don't, I'm not interested at all. It's way more contested. All right. So if the Warriors win, I will apologize. If the Warriors lose, I'll tell you my bad. If the Warriors win, then uh, we'll see who's, who saved a lot of time by not watching. I'm just saying, I'm not saying I'm right or wrong, because I might not be. But I'm saying I'm, an, I'm a very casual basketball viewer. Also sick at melee. For me, I'm not excited because it just seems too predictable. That That's my only gripe. As like your average basketball fan viewer, you know? You like that, Ben? I will watch if the Cavs make it to the finals because I, I just started liking LeBron for no reason. Only because I feel like he's getting fucked because <laughs> he has to play against the broken ass fucking Warriors, so. Again, I could be talking out of my ass. I don't know that much. I'm not claiming to know a lot, but I'm just saying from my perspective, this is how I feel. Melee is too predictable. I agree, melee is too predictable. Although, I think it's good that Plup won. If we could have like four people who have the potential to win, then melee would be exciting. But I agree, when it's the same people winning, and I, it's not very exciting. This guy really grabs everything, dude. Oh, I got him dancing. Can I get this? Nope. <laughs> uh oh. Are you serious? I hate myself. Got him. I love doing that right there. You can always poke. You can poke the tall characters from that angle if you bear right there. I knew it was gonna hit. I'm not going to pound, cause How about you guys let me spend a Mother's Day with the mothers in my life? How about that? You know I haven't celebrated a Mother's Day in like ten years? That's sad. I feel bad as a son. As a brother, as everybody. In case you can't react to that. How do I stop getting gimped by Peach? Stay away from the edge. I know it's hard, but it's that simple. Oh, what? Oh my God! We'll take it. Yo, Mike, I'm studying till 12 for the third night in a row. Can you do some dares to get me in the mood? Thank you for the I don't think Ginger tries to play like me. I think the closest player to me is like Trulium. Falco wise, the way he plays Falco, I think Trulium's the closest. Ginger's more of like a, he's more like a Kevin Nanny for sure. Um, you're a Mango type, a West Balls type, or like a PPM type, PPMD. Me, I feel like I'm in the middle of PP and West Balls to an extent. I have very little West Balls. I might have probably more, uh, what about Santi? I don't know, he doesn't go to anything and then complains that he doesn't care, so. He doesn't get to be involved in the spectrum. You dig? Shiz with? I don't know. If Shiz got good again. Shiz definitely had his own tier at some point, but he hasn't made any waves recently. I think when I see Ginger, I see more uh, moments, glimpses of Kevin. I think everyone, every Falco, you have to have a little Kevin in you, because I think he does a lot of things fundamentally get fucked, correct. But I also think to be a Falco, you have to have a little, little West Balls, little... I think... We all bring something to the table different as Falco, which is really cool. Yeah, I don't think Ginger plays like me at all. Whoever said that, I'm gonna have to rightfully disagree. One hand wonder, congrats on pound three. Thank you, sir. Never gets old. I think Brandon, homemade waffles, plays very close to my style too. I think Brandon and Trulium are more mango-ish. Me, like Kevin's really calculated, slow, takes his time. Westwell is a fucking maniac. Honestly, you know what it is, what it reminds me of? The same thing with the Falcos, the three Falcos. is like, it's the same thing with the three Falcons. PB's more of, like, PBMD is more like a Wizzy. Obviously not as lame. But on that, I'm just saying for like, like the Spectrum. Kevin's more a bread and butter player with some like sick moments. I'm more of a Johnny. West Ball's is more of a nun to an extent. Not like the exact same meaning, but I'm trying to just show you guys like the Spectrum. Where like, there's three different really good players, but they're all very different. I think the Falcos are kind of like that too. Kevin was bread and butter. People think Kevin was like super sick. I seen Kevin literally shoot 20 standing lasers in point. 
So Kevin was lame as shit. You guys just don't remember. I've seen Kevin do some lame shit. But I've also seen him do some cool shit. Oh, and then I think all the foxes are... You're the Leffen type fox where you only try to copy Leffen. Or you're a mango type fox and there's only one in there. Because no one can play like me. All the foxes literally just try to copy Europe. And then they all forgot they're American. That's why they all fucking suck dick. Because they're just stupid Americans but they're trying to be European. They're all just Leffen wannabes, dude. And they all really bad at it. So it's like, what are you doing, dude? You're just wasting everybody's time. How am I? I'm doing good. I'm big chill. Big chill. Am I gonna have Ormond over soon? Uh, maybe. Gotta figure it out. What think about Plup's Fox? He's definitely kind of mango-y, but with a Plup twist on it, I think. Because he's hella just movement-based. He doesn't really do any of like the super optimal stuff, but he makes his own shit kind of work. That's so good on Peach. Oh, come on. Die. Hey, you fucking try hard. No, don't hit Plup on a platform. I do it all the time because I'm stubborn, but... Yeah, Talfo's going to do other things. It was a good run. I actually need more of like a manager than a coach. More than anything. I need like a secretary. Because I there's a lot of shit I have to deal with that I don't want to. Alex, no. Alex is not a manager. Alex can't even sign up for tournaments on Smash GG. He doesn't know how. I think Alex could be like a good coach. Alex is good for like if top eight. If Alex could only t coach my top eight, then yeah. But I need somebody who's gonna be there all weekend. You know, I don't know if he has the juice in him to run around, find my matches. When do I play? Who do I play? When do I play? Where do I play? Stuff like that. There's more to it than just what top you think Topo does. Topo actually does a lot. I, I don't want to have a manager and a coach. I don't know if C9 would even give me both. Topo quit. No, Topo's going full-time esports. And I'm happy for the guy because he can just chill. He's making about the same he did at NASA. So he can just go full-time esports. For, and then he can go back to NASA probably whenever. So it's like, I think he made the right decision. I get to, I lose him, but I'm, I'm, I think it's better for him overall. Scar could do both. And Scar used to be my Topo. Actually, Topo was my new Scar. But, uh... I, I doubt Scar's gonna leave his job at Twitch. <laughs> Coach Blur? Well, Blur already does stuff. I might have to just find a nerd and get to get to do it. I'll, I'll, I'll worry about it time though. Honestly, if I could have anyone in my in the world to be like my actual coach, it'd probably be Kevin. Kevin's one of the only people in the world I like talking raw melee to. I can't talk to many people about, the, about melee. Not because I think they're stupid, it's just... I think I view the game in such a like very unique way. And I think most people don't really understand how I view it. And Kevin was the only one who could, um... I think Kevin was the only one I could ever talk to and he'd understand me. He'd call me stupid in moments, but I think he's the only one who ever really got me. So I think if I could have anyone to actually coach me, it'd be Kevin. I, a banger sub goal to get Plup's point five. Plup's very, uh... He needs his time alone. So that's why I don't think he comes to point five. I also think he, he thinks that we just get wasted the whole time, which isn't the case. Actually, only like two people get wasted. Wait, who's going to Flatiron? Leffy, Hbox, Hbox dropped out. I don't want to go anymore. It's just Leffen. I don't like going to the tournament where the number one player is in there. I win, and what's the point? So you know, I'm not going to Flatiron. What's the point if you win a tournament where the number one player is in there? I'm gonna fucking beat Leffen so you can say, "Oh, can't wait to go home and play Dragon Ball." Yeah, I'm gonna feel so fucking accomplished. I'm actually 100% not going to Flatiron if Hbox isn't there. I was gonna go, but. I don't want to play Leffen. There's no point in playing Leffen right now. It just feels like you beat him and it means nothing and there's no point. And if he beats you, he's going to be like, I'm Leffen, I play Dragon Ball. I have the perfect gaming genes. Free money? I'd rather stream. I'd rather stay home a weekend, go positive 100 subs, than go to a tournament and make a few thousand dollars. Why? Because I think long term. I'd rather, fuck, what's, I don't need a thousand dollars right now. I don't need five grand. I don't need it. I'd rather work on my stability of my stream, you feel me? For me, I only go to tournaments to compete. I don't need to go for money. I've always said this. If Plup was going, I might be down because I do want to play Plup. Right now, I just want to play Plup, Hbox, Armada. I wouldn't mind playing Eleven again, but I'm not going to go to a Eleven only tournament. What about Jason? Uh, Jason's just a walking corpse until Smash 5 comes out. He's done. Wrap him up. Put a bow on him. He's fucking done. That guy is done. I've never seen somebody so less motivated to play Super Smash Bros. Melee in my life. It's fucking done. He just doesn't seem like he cares. I'm not trying to rag on the guy. 
He just seems like he doesn't give a fuck about melee. I could be dead wrong. But I just feel like he doesn't give a fuck. And honestly, I don't blame him. He's been playing fucking longer than I have. Living. Watch this man, watch this man. Kalindi, watch this. Oh. You didn't see that? That was so perfect. Like, honestly, I'm thinking about, like, getting, uh... I'm sick. <laughs>